This is the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 47, and it reads, And that servant which knew his Lord's will, and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. And before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, or Chakwadash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and Chakwadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who grew and teach you on the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And today I just want to get into a lesson on how those that resist the will of the Heavenly Father, okay, they're going to be beaten with many stripes, okay? Um, the more you resist, the more stripes you'll get, all right? And um, I was just, you know, pondering about this the other day on how pretty much this whole world Okay, it walks in pride, all right? And let's get the scripture real quick. And it says here in 2nd Ezra, the uh, 8th chapter and the 50th verse, it says, For many great miseries shall be done to them that are that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. So with, you know, these people, you know, walking in great pride, that's going to um, basically give the Lord the justification, all right, to beat these people with many stripes. And how is he going to beat them, okay, with all these various plagues that he has, you know, stored up for them, okay? You know, famines, war, okay, uh, 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 um, diseases, things of that nature, okay? Those are just the name of few plagues, a few stripes, you know? There, there's going to be many more things that uh, occur, horrific things, okay? Things you see in apocalyptic movies and more. Or your, you know, you, you know, your goriest horror movies. Okay? And that's what's coming to this world. And it's ultimately because they have walked in great pride. And when you walk in great pride, that means, according to uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 10, verse 12. All right? According to Sirach 10, uh, 10 and 12, it says here, The beginning of pride is when one departeth from the Most High, Yahweh. And his heart, meaning his mind, is turned away from his maker. So when you walk in pride, that means you're not listening to the Most High. You're being resistant, okay? You're being resistant. You actually believe that your philosophies, your ideologies are actually better than what the Most High has set up, okay? And we all know that, look... um, if you follow uh, your ways, it's going to lead to a death style. Okay? Let me get something real quick. Um, let me see. I think it's in the book of Proverbs. Could be wrong, though. Here we go. This is Proverbs 14 and 12, and it reads... There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. Your philosophies, right? It may seem right unto you. Okay, but what does it say here? But the end thereof are the ways of death. See, your ways are death. Because really, you know, this flesh that we're in, it just leads to a death style. It doesn't really produce, you know, um, doesn't produce life. If this flesh is corrupt. Okay, it wants to do things that are wicked. And if you do wicked things, that means you're going to transgress the law, which means breaking of the law. Okay? Alright? And what law is that? The Heavenly Father's laws. And if you're breaking the laws, yeah, you, you, you're going to be sinning. Okay? And as the scriptures say in the book of Romans, the wages of sin is death. So you're going to uh, get a, a, a death reward for that. Alright? But let's go back to that, um, I believe that was the Sirach, um, chapter 10 and 12, because we didn't finish it out. And I want to get 13. This is Sirach, chapter 10, verse 12, and it says, The beginning of pride is when one departeth from the Most High, Yahweh, and his heart turneth away from his Maker. For pride is the beginning of sin. Okay? Pride is the beginning of sin. And he that hath it shall pour out abomination. Okay? You're going to pour out abomination. Okay, because that's, 
put it like this: those uh, the, the ways outside of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay, is nothing but death. It's, it's all it's all an abomination. It's vanity. You know, it's empty. It's useless. Okay, that's all that it is. And it says, and therefore, the Lord Yahweh brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. And you see, that's what's going to come. The Lord's about to bring strange calamities about, upon these people. Okay? They're about to um, feel the Lord's wrath very, very soon. You know, you're going to have people die of, uh, of famines. You're going to have people um, committing cannibalism. They're going to be killing their loved ones just to eat. Okay? People are going to die of all sorts of different diseases. They're going to have animals, you know, uh, uh, you know, kill them. Okay? It's going to be real gruesome. Like I said, these are just a few things that are coming to mind. Who knows what the Lord has planned? Okay? But um, let's go back to this. In the Luke chapter 12, verse 47. And, and that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. And look, I'll say this. And this uh, starts off first with uh, with the house of Israel, okay? Because what does it say in the book of Peter? I think it's First Peter. It says, judgment shall begin at the house of Israel. Meaning, those who actually know that they're Israelites. And you Israelites, okay, that know that, basically you, those that know that they're Israelites, and they're part of the two-thirds still, they're going to get the worst uh, uh, beatdown ever, okay? But I'll say this. You know, it starts with the house of Israel, but then it trickles down what to whom? The two thirds, okay? You know, all right. And then they're they're still going to get be, uh, beaten with many stripes. And the reason why is because look, they have no excuse now. Okay, you have the prophets out there that are telling you what's right, what's wrong, how to uh, truly please the heavenly Father and His Son. Hey, the prophets are telling you repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Get right. You know, change uh, your ways. But our people, hey, they, they, they get, you know, more, you know, stiff-necked. They become more hard. You know, uh, uh, their heart becomes, you know, hardened even more. Okay? And they become more rebellious. Okay? Become more wicked. And so the Lord, He's going to do away with them. He's going to beat them terribly. All right? Now let's, uh, let me get this. This is, uh, what is that, uh? The book of um, Proverbs 29 and 1. All right, let's get that real quick. Because look, it says here in Proverbs 29 and 1. Where is it at? Proverbs chapter 29 and 1. And it says here, He that being often reproved, hardeneth his neck. Okay, so, and I'll say this. Look, our people are constantly getting reproved. Like I said, you got the prophets out there teaching. You got, uh, not only just on the highways and byways in the cities, okay? You have... The men of the Lord all over the internet. You know, they're on YouTube, they're on Facebook, they're on Instagram, TikTok. And who knows what uh, um, social media platforms we're on or websites. Because there's so many uh, videos re-uploaded to the, you know, World Wide Web. We don't even know, um, we don't even know, you know, where these videos are getting posted really. All right? But point being though is, hey, these people have heard this word. But they're just blatantly, okay, you know, uh, being, you know, rebellious. And they're blatantly being wicked. So the Lord's going to do away with them. That's why it says here, He that he that being often reproved hardeneth his neck shall suddenly be destroyed. So you're suddenly going to be destroyed. And that without remedy. You're not going to have any remedy. You're not going to be healed, okay? You're not going to have a second chance, so to speak. You're just going to be put to death. Because really... As it says here, while you had that liberty, you re you rejected all you know. You rejected it. Uh, rejected it. Okay, let me get that second Ezra nine. We'll start at nine. This is a uh, second Ezra nine and nine. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. And you see, you Israelites, all right, you know, you two thirds, you're gonna be in a pitiful case, you know, in that day. Look, because you got, I'll say this, you have a lot of our people, they eat, you know, all throughout the day, 
You know, some of them have, you know, nice cars, they, you know, money, fame, you know, so on and so forth, right? You know, they're doing good right now. But look, you're going to be in a pitiful case. Look, hey, you're LeBron James's. They, they, they're going to they're gonna, uh, look terrible in the, in the day of the Lord. They're not going to be a mighty man, okay? All right, you're John Joneses, you know, so on and so forth. They, they're going to, you know, uh, uh, be like a woman, okay, in that day. They're going to be doing terrible. And the reason why is because they've abused the Lord's ways, okay? And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. You see? And you've cast the Lord's way, okay? You said, this is not profitable. My ways are. I don't want to be obedient. I don't want to have discipline, Okay? I don't want to, you know, re you know, resist temptation. All right, so you're going to dwell in torments. You're going to be tortured. The Lord's going to torture you. Spiritually, mentally, physically, you're going to be tortured. Okay? Verse 10, For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law, which means hated, while they had yet liberty. See, you have liberty right now. Yeah, you're, you're in that grace period where you can get right. But you people don't want to get right. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. And you people despise, you know, this word. You hate the words of the Heavenly Father. You hate the prophets that preach it. Okay? And really, as Second Ezra, I think it's the first or second chapter, you know, you didn't... the um. You forsaken yourselves. You didn't forsake the Lord. Because look, by you not following the Lord's way, you're actually really hurting yourself. By you not loving the Lord, okay, that means you you, you don't love yourself. Because that because I'll say this, true self love is uh, loving the Lord. Because look, if you follow the Lord's way, it leads to what a lifestyle. But see, you people for some reason think that it's a terrible thing to follow a lifestyle. But really, what it is, is you love death. You love death. So you're going to get death. Okay? Now let me keep reading 2 Ezra 9 and 12 now. The same must know it after death by pain. See, at the end of the day, okay, at the end of all this, you're going to uh, understand that, look, the Lord's ways is the best way. And if you, you know, go outside of His ways, you're going to die terribly. Okay? You're going to die terribly. And you're going to understand that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is to be feared, okay, and to be obeyed, all right? But let's get, um, let's get a couple more scriptures here. Now, none of these are, um, I don't really have any particular order for these, all right? But let's get, um, let's get Sirach 16 and 11. Let's see, let's, let's see what that says. Like I said, I wrote down a few scriptures. I don't really got anything, uh, you know, anything in a set order. All right, let's get this one. This is Sirach 16 and 11. And if there be one stiff neck among the people, it is it is marvel if he sh uh Salaki, let me read that again, Salaki. Uh, Sirach 16 and 11. And if there be one stiff neck among the people, it is marvel if he escaped unpunished. So if you have a disobedient, you know, rebellious individual, okay, and he doesn't get, uh, um, you know, if he doesn't um, get that punishment, hey, marvel at that. Marvel at that. Because look, the Lord, he, he, he gets people who are, you know, rebellious, okay? He gets those who are proud. For mercy and wrath are with him, talking about the Heavenly Father. He is mighty to forgive and to pour out displeasure. So I'll say this. Yes, the Lord, you know, he, he'll punish you for... Um, you know, for your wickedness, but at the same time, he's very merciful. And that's why right now, we have to um, seek the Lord while he may be found, okay? Get right with him. Repent. Because look, he, he's got a lot of mercy too. He's got a lot of wrath, but he also has a lot of mercy, okay? Let's get uh, Sirach chapter 3 and 26. Sirach 3 and 26, and it reads, A stubborn heart meaning a stubborn mind, shall fare evil at the last, 
So if you're stubborn at the at, at your uh, at the last, okay, at your last end, okay, you you're gonna have to deal with you know, you know, a, a evil reward, okay, a punishment. And he that loveth danger shall perish therein. And I'll say this: if you're not following the ways of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, you're you're in danger, okay. And if you love that that type of uh, so called living, you're gonna receive death, okay. An obstinate heart, which means, uh, that word obstinate, okay, means, you know, be, you being stubborn, okay, stubbornly refusing to change one's opinion or chosen course of action, despite attempts to persuade one to do so, okay? So basically, a hard-headed person shall be laden with sorrows. You're going to be laden with sorrows. That means it, it, these things are going to be stacked up, okay? Sorrows are going to be stacked up, all right? And it says, and the wicked man shall heap sin upon sin. In the punishment of the proud, there is no remedy. You see? For the plant of wickedness hath taken root in him. Alright? So when that punishment comes down, okay, on the proud, there is going to be no remedy. They're just going to be exterminated. Alright? They're going to be vanquished. You see? Now let's get... um. Let's get this Isaiah 13 and 11. We'll probably end it off with that. All right. It's Isaiah 13 and 11. Because this is what's coming. And we're almost in this time period where the Lord is going to punish the world for their iniquity. Okay. All right. This is Isaiah 13 and 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. So the Lord, he's going to punish you people, okay, for all your evils and your iniquities. And he's going to cause all you people, okay, he, 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 he's going to cause you people to, um, to, 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 to uh, he's going to make you low, all right? He's going to, uh, uh, yeah, all that pride that you have is going to cease. And the reason why is because you're going to be in a terrible case. You're not going to have all your goodies, your you know your your uh, your toys, so to speak. It's going to be gone. You're going to be suffering in that day. All right, but um, that's pretty much it. You know, I'm gonna end this lesson. You know, hey, you know, brothers, just continue to stay, you know, on the path of righteousness. Continue to repent. Continue to uh, ask for forgiveness. You know, che, keep, you know, improving. Okay, okay you know, uh, stay away from wickedness, man. Okay? You know, we, we don't want to get punished like these people. Okay? But uh, that's pretty much it. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about Shai? Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers. Shalom.